Whoops! Instantly went to click just on the window, right? And then happened to click exit, which counted, clearly, because um, that's what it's supposed to do, right? Let's try this again. Oh, I did it again, just clicked on fight. Today, I would like to talk about Megabyte Punch, kind of in the vein of Smash 4 Customs, just to a whole nother level. Every robot, or they call a Mega X, can choose from tons of parts. So it's not completely customizable. You just get special moves and attributes. This build that I have going is super great at fighting, but has a terrible recovery. In the bottom left, you can see I only have one special move, which is an uppercut. Although considering my up tilt and my up air, which are exactly that, but faster, I'll probably just get rid of it. Yeah, it's on my arm. Not very useful to me. So we'll go for attack up. Um, there we go. Who needs special moves? Not me. Compared to a game like Smash Brothers, this game has way faster startups. Especially considering things like jab out of shield. It can be incredibly aggressive. You'll see me do a lot of landing forward and back airs. It's because in this game, when you land on the ground with an aerial, it doesn't end, it doesn't cancel, it just keeps on playing. You can see me land here a bunch of times with down air. I can do this spike directly on the ground, and for getting um, a forward reach, the aerial side, front and back, are much faster than the forward tilt. It's just gotta be one of the slowest startups in the default kit. Oh, this will be a fun match. Got the same color. There are a couple of other differences to Smash Brothers. I'll compare it to that since I assume that's what most people are familiar with. Anyway, differences to Smash Brothers. Your shield, you can't roll out of it. You can't jump out of it. When you're in your shield, you're stuck in there till you let go. Which is not really that big of an issue, because Jab comes out basically instantly. It even cancels out of shields. Same goes for your aerials. So clearly it's not that big of an issue. Oh yes, no spot dodging. And shields, having as much health as they do, and considering you can't roll out of them, you're given a thrust tool, which will instantly break shields. That's part of the default kit, everybody's got it. And that's game. Ooh, that was close.
You'll just be juggling these guys with just plain up airs a lot. It's because the AI aren't exactly the smartest. Those bomb moves seem like a really great idea. There's a poison version and a knockback variant. Until you realize that they can be shielded with minimal shield damage. Oh no. And because of how easy it is to get into shield in the air and otherwise, if you know what you're doing, they're not exactly very good traps. They're not fault of their own either, that's just the way the game works. This game focuses more on being a platformer than it does being a fighter, so movement is really easy. You've got basically no startup and end lag when it comes to running and dashing. Ow. And no, like, skid delay either. So positioning can be one of the fastest part of the fastest parts of this game. That'll be it. Oh no. <laughs> I hate it when, like, my friends go around spamming that move. But when the AI does it, it's even worse, because it, like, encourages that behavior. That'll be it. Come on. No! I had him. Well, I still do. That's embarrassing. Oh, that was it. Got an achievement for my troubles. Bare fists. I know we gotta wait a minute for this all to... All my bits. 512. Well. This is mostly a new microphone test, so... Edit this up to be really short. Publish it, I don't know.